G'day mate, welcome back to Satisfactory with me, JD. So, we're in episode 2, obviously. Uh, we're now at the point where we want to start getting rid of these little crappy miners. And start putting down a fully fledged miner. Um, at the same time, we should see how it feels in here. Plenty of here. So, we also need to fix our power network. So, we've got a power pole here. Power poles only support four power connections. And obviously, one of those is from a pole with power and then a pole onto more power. So, I'm actually just going to remove this out. And I'm going to go. Actually, now you've got no power connection. This one's not burning anything because it's never had a connection. Alright, we're also going to rip up this smelter and rip up this smelter. So we're going to put down a Mark 1 miner, and I want ore to come out in, say, that direction. Now, we can see right here it's going to do 30, 30 ore per minute. So, smelter, right about there for argument's sake. If I set you to do iron, it's going to take in 30 iron per minute, so we're good so far. We can now go to 3 and put the up. And... When this has got power, it'll output down to there. Problem number one sorted. Uh, open, pick up miner. We're gonna go with a... I wanna put this as item number five on my belt, number six on my belt, and number seven on my belt. Excellent, five. So we want another miner mark one here. And I'm gonna face it like roughly the same direction as the other one. And then... Another smelter. We will hold down the control button. And I actually want to line it up sort of beside this one. Roughly. So square them up. Uh, get that green line drawn in. Pop that there. We're going to take a conveyor belt. Straight to there? No, okay. So we're going to have to stop there. And then um, encroaching on others' clearance. What clearance are you encroaching on? Silly game. Gonna have a special zigzag at the end. Okay, so they're now hooked up. So now I want a power pole right there. That power pole oh, to there and to there. So that's gonna have a power in the power out still. So it's basically maxed out already. I'm gonna put another power pole to there. And same story, power to there, power to there. And then again, it needs a power in. It's already got its power out. So we're going to run that to there. I'm going to run you to power in number one, power in number two. We don't need the extra power production. But we're making 20, 20 megawatts, we're only using 10 megawatts. So I'm not going to turn this guy back on. But if all goes well, we have ore on a belt. Coming down here, which stands a recipe. And that'll give us uh, that'll give us our first thing being oops, need to pick up leaves. Uh, item number seven. So that'll give us uh, what are they called? Um, iron. I want to say iron plate. It's not iron plate. It's oops, ingots. That'll give us iron ingots. So then I want a seven, the constructor. So we actually make something with our our output. I want that lined up so there. Again, with another plate. Uh, another belt, rather. That's a smelter. Not a smelter. We want a seven. A constructor. Uh, that doesn't line up. So let's try that again. Third time's a charm. So get this reasonably lined up in a straight line. Come and stand at this machine. There we go. Bring our belts down here. And then we want you to make iron plate. Now, it takes in 30 per minute and produces 15 per minute. Uh, same story, we're going to 
leave that power line. So you're going to come forth to here. Charge into that one. Uh, seven. Cool. That was the sound of your using too much power already, JD. So we need another constructor down here. Uh, we'll hook you up to power grid as well. And we want you to do iron rods. Because they're the main ingredients we're using currently. So we'll come back up to our two generators and we'll see uh, if we power you on and we power you on. And we'll hit the circuit breaker. We should now be good to go. Okay, so we've got our first stage of automation. Um, we didn't see how many of these guys we were using per minute. So you're only using 15 per minute. Um, we don't have any way to split this belt currently, so this machine is going to constantly back up. Um, the other thing I want to do is I want to clear my inventory of all the material I've already got. And just have you guys sculpt them. Excellent. Okay. So that's that process started. Uh, now we're going to want to take a power pole. I'm going to run, want to run a power line up to where our copper is. Because we need to do the exact same thing at copper. We need to produce copper at a reasonable rate and and turn it into couple, copper cables. Because we need a lot of copper cables, I've already found out. So pick up miner. Uh, put down a five. So we're going to miner mark one. I'm just going to face it that way. And I'm actually going to run on top of this. I'm going to build from the top so we can sort of see what we're doing. We want a 6 for a smelter. Uh, and it goes right where that power pole goes. So we're going to buy a power pole. Uh, 6. We're just going to... Yeah, sure. Pop it there. Uh, conveyor belt from there to there. Where's my power line? Can I see it? No. Alright. Put that up to there, that up to there. Put another power line over here somewhere. Uh, actually, can I just hook this one back then to where did I put that power pole? Right there. Okay. But then we want a seven. We want a constructor. You know what? Can we jump on top of this one as well? Oh, you need a recipe. Copper. And that uses 30 per minute. And you output 60 per minute. So again, we're not running at peak efficiency. We, we'd love to put in splitters and stuff, but we don't have access to that. I don't have any copper cable. Alright, back to base it is for more copper cable. Heavy cable, whatever it's called. Um, in here we want cable. And six more biomass, yeah. Okay. So we'll run back and we'll put down our machine that makes cables. Seven in a straight line. We want you to make wire, which is 15 per minute, and you are outputting 30 per minute. So again, we can't actually run this guy at full speed. So you're then going to make wire. Now I know from pre previous experience the wire actually stacks into stacks of 500. And we need 1500. So we're going to go into organization, we're going to put down a storage container, and we're not going to have enough iron plate. So, luckily enough, we've automated that. If we run down to these two guys, we can come and grab some iron plate and some rods.
storage container. Right there. With another conveyor belt from there to there. And you're going to pull out a whole bunch of copper cable. And it's going to go sit in this storage container. So we've got that part automated as well. The only thing that we're still, we've still got lots of things we're handcrafting actually, because um, we just don't have the, 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 the better tech yet. But, this would be the one that I'd like, this is the next big milestone, so if we can get this launched off, we'll be fine. I've got a heap of ingots in my inventory, so let's just go iron rod, craft that, we need like 100. Ideally, we want to walk away from this crafting bench as fast as possible. We want to stop using it. Just craft a whole lot to get rid of all the ingots in my inventory. And then we might as well do copper ingots to get rid of the wall copper in our inventory. And then once we can watch the, the craft bench heat up and go bright yellow. I'm curious on whether you can overheat the crafting bench just by crafting, handcrafting non-stop. Because like this gets hotter and hotter and hotter, and you can see it, it looks maxed down actually. But I'm wondering if it could go like from here to like a red to like a white hot. You know, what, what, a little bit of automation we've already got. Plus what crap we've got in our inventory, just to empty our inventory, we've probably got enough to actually launch this one. No, we have no iron plate, but I can go pick up the iron plate that's hopefully crafted 100, 100 of it in the meantime. Just these two machines. 41. 41. No, I don't have enough. Do you have a heap of stuff? So you've got a heap of stuff because it's, it's crafting as fast as possible. So technically what's in that storage I can handcraft with to speed things up. Uh, I only it. it takes forever. But there's not really much else I can do at the meantime. Because I really we need that next. The only other thing I could do is I could automate concrete, which we probably should do. Actually. We'll do it after we've done this. So how much do I need? Forty-one iron plate. So that's eighty. I need eighty. Fifty-five. Craft those. Oh, two, two copper cables short. Sure. Really, 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 really. Probably done already more than a stack of 500 already. No, only 200. Thank you. So we'll grab that. We'll go grab both of these at the same time. Fully upgraded. 
Congratulations, you have unlocked Pup Feature Molecular Analysis Machine, also known as the MAM. Building Biomass Burner, Building Space Elevator. Motivational Message, Congratulations, you succeeded in every provided task. On behalf of Fixit Incorporated, I thank you for your current and future service. Okay. We've also Additional got knowledge. The hub terminal has been converted to give access to milestones there to ensure you progress along Fixit approved protocols. We've also got given ad Additionally, the MAM provides Can the I? opportunity to send samples of xenobiology and other materials I deem relevant to R and D in exchange for appropriate rewards. Can I talk now? Note. <laughs> Future developments should be aimed at constructing the space elevator and thus initiating project assembly. Good luck. So we don't know what project assembly is, but that is the final goal for the game. Right? We've got access to our drone. Um, our drone will carry off resources when we do research. So, we've got a couple of things that we can start researching. I'm going to get flower petals done, because they're quick and easy. We just put one flower petal, or ten flower petals in the machine. We just wait four and a half minutes. Um, okay, so now that's done, we want... We want to go back down and get... Um, you upgraded to be automated. Get thud. Hi, Giraffe! this this way. I'm going to take my conveyor belt from there and I want to get it up on that cliff. The floor is too steep. Aha! Uh, now I didn't bring a power connection down with me which is a little bit silly. Come on. Up. No, I said up, not over. Yeah, there's a tree in the way. It's fine. Power connection into there, power connection into there, power connection to... Haha! That, that's where the power is. And network overload! Um, can I just try? No. Okay, remove that power line. Back to the power. Come on. Oh, you're running. Okay. Uh, so we want our limestone to go into a smelter. No, actually, I think it goes straight into a constructor. A reinforced iron plate. I've got that. Recipes, concrete. Okay. Take that. Take that. Okay. So I want a constructor. Oh no, missing reinforced plate. Yeah, I haven't fixed that problem yet. Uh. So 
somewhere over here is my belt. Yep, let's bring the belt this way a little bit. Put down a constructor there. Belt into there. Uh, hook the power line back up. They are to there. So I hope we can see it later. We want you to make concrete. And then I am definitely going to put a storage container right here on the end for concrete. This one gets one of those things that we're going to go through a lot of. Right, I didn't look at how fast you produce stuff. So you're producing 30 per minute, which is not very fast. Considering the belts move 60. And then... You want 45 per minute, so we're good. So this will just slowly make concrete. It doesn't have to be fast, it just has to be automated. Uh, did we get that finished? Aha! Now that's the fire pills complete, you can choose a new specimen and give me the answers. Okay, so let's do... R&D wishes me to tell you these colored pebbles are useful for two things. Dating and creating color cartridges. Mandatory reminder that you are under 24-7 surveillance. The derived blueprint is now accessible in the hub. So I think that means no dating. Uh, how long are we in? Okay, so let's do a pale berry. Do an analysis. So that'll take five minutes, and once that's done, we can end the episode. So let's get that done. Let's get that done. Let's look at our hub. So, tier one gives us lookout tower, biofuel, walls, doors, that sort of stuff. Because we're building organically, we don't need any of that. Biofuel would be really, really good. Uh, most energy efficient form of biomass. That's probably the first thing we want. So we're going to select that milestone, and we need to just start dumping materials in as fast as possible. Uh, so what's that? That's limestone. Get rid of these. There you go, pick up the cable. Dump the iron on the way through. I dump the, the limestone straight into the constructor on the way through because it's processing faster than the plates. Than the, the, it's processing faster than the belt's delivery. So. If I add 100 limestone in there, it'll actually slowly eat it up. Which is one of the advantages of having things that are slightly running too fast. Um, it means if you've got random crap in your inventory, you can dump it in the machine and know that the machine will eventually process it and eventually catch back up to what's already on the belts. Whereas having a perfect ratio means that if you dump something in a machine, it's never going to catch up. Those, we have those. Let's go in here. Dump that. Dump that. Dump that. We're 40 short. So, because of improper ratios, this machine outputs at 30, but that machine only eats at 15. So this is always going to have a stockpile in it. Um, same goes for this one. And because of that, it's also going to actually have a stockpile of iron ore. So I don't have splitters yet, so I can't fix it automatically. But I can steal stuff out of the machine and handcraft the hell out of it. Which is what we're going to do. We're just going to make the use of the handcrafting um, to just get rid of crap. Sort of inventory, so it re compresses things that are split stacks. So once this iron units its own, we've got the plates. Actually, we're gonna have to just do this one. Um, we want to do Launch pod! 
Milestone reached. Five you have unlocked several structures aimed to provide the first needed to build basic factory infrastructure. Additionally, the biofuel blueprint will ensure improved fuel consumption of biomass burners. Bipod. Additionally, you can now build the space elevator, which is integral to your contribution to project assembly. So, we're not worried about any of that stuff now. Um, for what we're actually going to do in the next episode is we're going to automate fuel before we do anything else. Um, we're going to make sure that our fuel is automated and it's set up and flies are gonna f planes are going to fly overhead. Um, I want to have fuel automated completely um, in the most efficient the biofuel type. Um, because running around collecting stuff is not fun. Not fun enough at all. And we've got some spare here, but we can probably get these. And they've already used the whole stack. So's he. And he's used a good portion of the stack. And the last thing we want to do is spend a long time running around chasing things. So what have we got? 20 seconds. Um, yeah, the last thing I want to do is spend a lot of time running around chasing leaves and cutting down trees and all that sort of stuff. Um, so we want to upgrade to the better type of fuel, um, step one, and then step two is automate that process. So when I go out chopping, I can just dump stuff in machines and they'll just automate and take care of all that sort of stuff for me. Uh, I don't think you're done. Now, Sir Pablo is complete. Please chew a new specimen to begin research. Paleodictiopra berries or pale berries added to object scanner catalog. Oh, so we can now, with a scanner, which I haven't crafted, um, we can now use that to find more berries. So, I'm going to end this episode here. Um, I will see you guys in the next episode where hopefully there's less, less handcrafting. There'll always be some handcrafting. Um, and yeah, we're going to get. Um, we're going to get fuel upgraded first. That is going to be definitely the very, very first thing we do. Um, get fuel upgraded. Sounds like another jet engine. Okay. Oh, it is a jet engine. It's our thing back. So yeah, all right. I'm going to call it here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, as always, this is the really organic builds on on YouTube. Um, if you're interested in watching a more structured build. Exchange complete. Let's get freight to return. Okay. Um, yeah, if you're what, interested in watching a more structured build, um, it is over on my Twitch channel. The videos do make it to YouTube eventually. Um, but yeah, I, I, I'm live on Twitch a couple of days a week. So I'm going to leave it here. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. All right. Bye.